how to stop complaining. The key is to accomplish the task of confronting the shadow within. It is difficult, as men default to blaming the external world. Westworld illustrated that key point throughout its main characters. The critical step is to become aware of and courageously confront one's darkness within. Teddy always thought of himself as the good chivalry who protected Dolores against evil. Don't mind me. Just trying to look chivalrous. He kept searching for the mysterious villain Wyatt, who was blamed for his genocidal crimes. But Teddy was never able to find Wyatt in the park. Teddy, we got another bounty. I think this is a big one. Man in question gunned down an entire settlement out near Flat Rock. Men, women, and children. I think this may be the man you've been looking for for quite some time. A man named Wyatt. Who is he, Teddy? What Teddy had vaguely remembered was witnessing Wyatt killing the civilians. But had it been true, how come Teddy did not stop him? Are you sure that's how it was? Look at me, Theodore. Don't you remember? In fact, what Teddy ostensibly remembered wasn't real. And he didn't realize that fact until Angela forced him to confront the truth. Teddy had, in fact, unconsciously repressed the real memory. He was possessed by the evil spirit of Wyatt, became an accomplice of the evil villain, and killed the civilians, including Angela, in her prior life. No. No. No, I couldn't have. But where is Wyatt? Surprisingly, even though Dolores was confused about the name Wyatt, Arnold had actually infused Wyatt's character into so her personality. He you, Dolores. Merged you with a new character we'd been developing. Only then was she able to solve the maze, that is, find her true self. The message is that only after Dolores integrated the dark side represented by Wyatt did she gain consciousness and become alive. Now we know the answer. Wyatt resides inside Dolores. It is part of the self. The eternal juxtaposition of good versus evil makes human real and recognizing the capacity to do evil as well as good in every individual is essential to one's psychological maturity. Westworld illustrates that point through the contrast between Teddy and the man in black. Teddy is the representation of the white hat William, his good side. He was never able to kill the man in black, the dark side. The hidden message being, good and evil eternally coexist within the self. As Alexander Solzhenitsyn brilliantly put it, if only there were evil people somewhere insidiously committing evil deeds, and it were necessary only to separate them from the rest of us and destroy them. But the line dividing good and evil cuts through the heart of every human being, and who is willing to destroy a piece of his own heart? Welcome to Westworld. Live. Yeah. That is most clear in William, later dubbed as the Man in Black. All his life, he thought he was the White Hat, only to discover his darkness in the park. He would later kill his own daughter, who refused to face it, and blamed it on Dr. Ford. Fuck you, Ford. Indeed, recognizing one's own darkness within is difficult as every urge to complain reflects a conflict between addressing our own weaknesses and conveniently blaming it on others. Are you afraid of me? To overcome such tension, one must realize that any trait is only a small part of the individual and does not represent our whole way yeah. of being. <laughs> Just like Akichita from Ghost Nation, 
His apparently frightening body pain doesn't represent his whole being or his tender heart, which he preserved from his previous incarnation. Confusing one undesirable trait with the entire personality is the worst psychological error because it would prevent us from examining our own weaknesses for fear of total disintegration of the sanity. Akichita's wife, Kwana, realized that when he washed off his body paint and revealed his true self. Such realization is the key to self-healing and thus stopping complaining about the external world. The solution is to take individual responsibilities and enhance actions to the maximum of our abilities. By focusing on our own actions, we grow our abilities and stop complaining. When Kwana was taken from Akichita, he stopped at nothing to find her, even if it meant for him to die and look for her in <laughs> In our life, when the undesirable circumstances appear out of our control, we can still focus on our actions and maintain a positive attitude by being grateful rather than resentful. But how? In comparing how an experience could have been worse, we develop gratitude and happiness, while if we compare how it could have been better, we develop bitterness and sadness. Paul Jung. When William was a white hat, he exemplified such positive attitude. He pulled up an old man on the street who tripped over in his way. The old man later thanked him at the bar when William and Logan were having a meal. Logan, however, kept complaining and eventually stabbed the man in his palm. I see. Not interested. One chose the path of empathy and gratitude, the other resentment and complaint. In the end, one found his meaning. William, so you found the center of the maze. And the other lost in the desert. This is, is, is an illusion. Viktor Frankl, the Swiss psychiatrist who survived the Nazi concentration camp, emphasized the unsurpassed importance of taking individual responsibility and in actions. It did not really matter what we expected from life, but rather what life expected from us. Our answer must consist not in talk and meditation, but in right action and right conduct. Life ultimately means taking the responsibility to find the right answer to its problems and to fulfill the tasks which it constantly sets for each individual. Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. Hello, Felix. It's time you and I had a chat. However, taking one's responsibilities simultaneously means confronting the suffering it will entail. In the next two episodes, we will see why suffering is the key to psychological awakening, hence meaning. But on my darkest day, you help me. You gave me the strength to keep going. You saw me for who I really was. <laughs>